Hi, folks. I'm Ron Corsher with Cornerstone Retirement Partners. Welcome to our program today. If what I'm about to say or what I've said in the past is of interest to you, give us a call at our office, 616-301-2581, or go to our website, www.cornerstone-rp.com. Put your information in there. We'll reach out to you, get you the information you need to make really good decisions. Again, I'm Ron Corsher with Cornerstone Retirement Partners. Today's program will be on our website in a few days, along with all the other programs we've done that have a great deal of information, a lot of good stuff for you to help make good decisions for your family. Hello, everyone, and I'm Ron Corsher with Cornerstone Retirement Partners. It's nice to be able to talk with you again. And today is kind of a special weekend, isn't it? It's Mother's Day. <clears throat> and I'm always amazed at how important moms are in our life. You know, I chuckle sometimes when we watch a football game or basketball game and somebody raises a sign up. It never says, hi, dad. It always says, hi, mom. And when they're interviewed, they say, hi, mom. So moms are absolutely at the top of the, the pole there, so to speak, in terms of what's important. And, and it's pretty good because... Everybody has different experiences with family and everything. We go through it. But for a lot of us and most of us, moms have a special place in our heart. And one of the ways that we we end up having that special place in our heart kind of take reality by the, by the horns is when mom gets sick or mom starts to get a little older and mom needs a little care. It becomes uh, an interesting experience for some of us because we become what, what a lot of people call a sandwich generation. And what's that? Well, my wife and I are part of that. We're, uh, she, she's been dealing with her mom. I was dealing with my mom and my stepdad for a while. And then we have children and grandchildren too. So we're kind of between the, the really old ones and the really young ones trying to take care of everybody. The sandwich generation. Before we get into that, I want to just say, how do, what's the best way to cope with this because we have a lot of clients that are experiencing this and more and more people experience it because our parents are living longer. Grandparents perhaps may still be alive. What's the best way to deal with this? And I'll touch on it a little later in the program, but the best way to deal with it is to make sure that you are financially sound. You need to take care of yourself so that you have the money, you have the time, you have the energy to take care of mom and dad or your grandchildren. So given that little piece, let's keep going. So we're going to talk about mom and Mother's Day. Again, I'm Ron Corsier with Cornerstone Retirement Partners. If you have some questions about today's program or you just want to tune in to other programs that we have, they're all on our website. It's Cornerstone Retirement Partners, www.cornerstoneretirementpartners.com. Go to our website, put your information in there. You can get today's program and some of my thoughts and then some of the other things we've talked about. A lot of good information, really good stuff for you. So I welcome you to do that. So let's talk about moms. I'll talk about my mom first. My mom is not alive now. But one of her big concerns when she uh, had retired from General Motors, she worked 48 years on the assembly line at General Motors. She, <laughs> she was a tough lady. But one of her big concerns was the nursing home. And, and she would say to me sometimes when we talked, and you know, my mom and I, particularly when she got older, we used to have some incredible conversations. It was like the wisdom of this woman started to come out, but I also listened to her. And her big fear was the nursing home. And she would say to me sometimes, oh son, please, please don't, don't put me in a nursing home. And I would say to her, Mom, I'm not going to do that. But in the back of my mind, I thought, what if something happens that we can't care for you at home? So I always told my mom I, I wouldn't do that, but I kind of kept my fingers crossed in the back, knowing that if something really bad happened to her with her health, there might not be an option. My mom lived long enough, uh, but not long enough to end up in a nursing home. She died of cancer. And, and I go back and I talk to people about the, that last year of her life. When we talked about things that were very important, it was the most 
incredible time with my mother and me. It, it was, you know, I tell people it was a blessing because we had conversations right from the heart. My mom was a late, a late uh, entry into heaven. She accepted Jesus later in her life, and we would talk about that. And even, even the last couple of weeks that she was alive, we would have conversations about Jesus and about heaven. And it was an incredibly blessed time. I, I had a, a, a minister friend who talked about spending the last six months of his time with his dad who was dying of cancer. And at that time, I never understood how he could say that. And it wasn't until I spent that time with my mom that I really understood it. What an incredible blessing. I get a little misty now talking about it, but that's okay. I'm a human being and I loved her dearly. But we have an aunt who worked, who lived with us, with my brother, and she helped raise us. And she was the same way, but she was a little more quiet. <clears throat> so what we did with her is I, we purchased for her a small long-term care policy that would give her about uh, two years of care. And she was comfortable with that. Yes, she paid for it, but she was comfortable with that. And she too would say, don't put me in a nursing home. But the advantage of having the insurance was that we could get care for her in, in the house, in the home. <clears throat> so after my mom died, my aunt was all alone in our house and um, she was in pretty good health. But as time passed, she started to become a little more feeble. Uh, and so we got to the point with her where she could no longer stay by herself. Then we had to have the long conversation of, aunt, you have to go into a nursing home. And we kind of did pretend, you know, we said, look, you'll get in the nursing home, you know, get back on your feet, walk in, know how to do that, and you'll come home. But down deep inside, my brother and I both knew that was never going to happen. But she did get, uh, we were able to pay for the first two years. And she didn't have a lot of money. She spent her working career about 18 years at General Motors. She had a pension, Social Security. Ultimately, she went on Medicaid. And, and that took away her savings and everything else. But she was cared for in the nursing home. So what am I coming to say to you is that sometimes you don't need to worry about the nursing home because your parent won't survive won't live that long to do that. Sometimes you will have a parent or an aunt who will have to go through that. Now we we took care of my aunt. We, we Even when she was in the nursing home, she still had some needs. And so because my wife and I were reasonably solvent, we were able to take care of her and help her with her needs. So the, the upshot about this little discussion is that if you're listening to this, it's quite possible that you're a sandwich generation person. If you are, the number one thing you need to do and really give thought to it is how do you keep yourself solvent and in a position to help your mother or father or grandparent or a child that may need long-term care? You being solvent and financially stable is the key. The other part is just just love on your parents. Sometimes, you know, sometimes our parents grow old and sometimes they get a little grumpy. You're allowed to get grumpy when you're old. Uh, but sometimes we just have to show them grace like Jesus would show us grace and love on them and help them and comfort them. So enjoy Mother's Day. If your mom's still here, give her a big hug and a kiss. Uh, if you need some help talking about financial issues of long-term care, care and a facility, things like that, give us a call here at Cornerstone Retirement Partners, 616-301-2581, 616-301-2581. I'm Ron Corsher, and we do a lot of work helping, helping our clients learning how to be and cope with being a sandwich generation person. There are ways to deal with it, and we can be of help to you. One of our teams here, my wife Nancy does it as the healthcare team. She handles all the long-term care. We've done Medicaid issues with clients. We've helped them a lot. We have the resources to give you the information you need to make really good decisions for your parents, grandparents, or children. 
So again, give us a call here at Cornerstone Retirement Partners, 616-301-2581. I'm Ron Corser. Thank you for tuning in. And to all the moms out there, happy Mother's Day and bless you. Tune into Cornerstone Retirement Partners full radio program, Your Course to Retirement, Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock at News Radio WOOD or visit cornerstone-rp.com for many valuable resources, including those mentioned on this show and other great episodes of Your Course to Retirement. The content of this radio show is provided for informational purposes only and is not a solicitation or recommendation of any investment strategy. You are encouraged to seek investment, tax, or legal advice from an independent professional advisor. Ed Slot's Elite IRA Advisor Group is solely an indication that the financial advisor has attended training provided by Ed Slot and Company, passed biannual examinations on material covered at conferences and in webinars, and met other membership requirements and does not constitute an endorsement of any kind. Ed Slot's Elite IRA Advisor Group members pay a fee to the educational programs that allow them to be included in the Ed Slot's Elite IRA IRA Advisor Group. Membership does not guarantee investment success. Fiduciary duty extends solely to investment advisory advice and does not extend to other activities such as insurance or broker-dealer services. Advisory services offered through Brookstone Capital Management, a registered investment advisor. Advisory clients are charged a quarterly fee for assets under management, while insurance products pay a commission, which may result in a conflict of interest regarding compensation. Any investments and or investment strategies mentioned involve risk, including the possible loss of principal. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not refer in any way to securities or investment advisory products. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs. Early withdrawals may subject the owner to penalties, fees, or taxes.